Mascots are a funny thing. Their whole MO is to help strengthen brand identity. Yet most brands choose something that looks like it's been chewed up and spat out by the Philly Fanatic or the Stanford Tree. Why they choose these ugly characters that look like they belong in Five Nights at Freddy's, we'll never know. But bear with us as we rank all 32 NFL team mascots from worst to best. Unfortunately, there are five teams who have chosen to go without an official mascot, but we're including them anyway. At number 32, we have the New York Jets. With no mascot, we'll go ahead and dissect their logo. Oh wait, it's the shape of a football with a football inside. Clever, original, award-winning. But for a team whose greatest season was in 1969, it kind of makes sense. Next, at number 31, we have the Washington Redskins, who had an unofficial mascot in the form of Chief Z. And considering the controversy surrounding their name, we think it's for the best that they have no official mascot. Number 30, the New York Giants. Not much to say about these guys, except they've changed up the font on their logo a few times, never opting for anything too crazy. May we suggest Comic Sans? The Green Bay Packers come in at number 29, because although they don't have a mascot, their fans are known to wear cheese hats. Why? Well, because Wisconsin is known for its cheese production. Good a job. Sorry, at 28, we have the Los Angeles Chargers with Boltman. Boltman was their unofficial mascot until its creator and self-proclaimed number one fan, Dan Jeregi, announced his retirement in 2018. Jeregi put his costume and the full intellectual property rights of Boltman on eBay in July 2018, but received no takers. Wonder why? Maybe it's because he looks like a slice of processed cheese if the cheese had been left out in the sun for too long, but was like, really happy about it. Now we rank the official NFL mascots, and the worst on our list is Raider Rusher, coming in at 27. In 2010, the NFL partnered with Nickelodeon to create an animated cartoon series called NFL Rush Zone. It was basically terrible and featured these humanoid alien beings that looked like NFL mascots that helped the kids save the planet or something? Anyway, the Las Vegas Raiders decided to use the Nickelodeon cartoon as inspiration for their mascot, and that's why he looks like Steve Buscemi with no torso. At number 26, we have the Miami Dolphins with their fishy mascot. Look, you either like dolphins or you don't. We understand that putting this mascot this low in this list is controversial. But you either blindly see dolphins as bouncy long sea mammals, or you know them for their true profession as aggressors of the water. Just Google it, seriously. The dolphin's mascot is named TD, which isn't all that bad until you realize it just stands for the dolphin. Some people say it stands for touchdown, but either way, it's nothing to be proud of. The New England Patriots come in at 25 with Pat Patriot, a soldier of the American Revolution. His face doesn't look any less Botox than the rest of his human resembling counterparts, and he kinda looks like your average college bro. The one who never chips in for the keg but gets smashed off of it every time. You know the one. He also looks like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Either way, he doesn't look like a cool dude. We're gonna give number 24 to the Indianapolis Colts with their blue furry named Blue. Clever. Blue resembles something akin to a horse, with blue fur and an orange tail. And what's with those nose plugs? We don't want to know. Number 23, the Dallas Cowboys with Rowdy. The beloved cowboy looks like he wouldn't last 10 seconds in the Wild West. Rowdy's face looks like a Disney prince if the prince was on crack. But why is he called Rowdy? Do they know what Rowdy means? He looks like he could calmly entertain a crowd at best. The Minnesota Vikings come in at 22 with Victor, the poor man's Thor. The dude has a football on his hammer. The blonde haired, horned helmet wearing character resembles the Vikings brand pretty well. It's just sad he looks like the last pick on an Asgardian dodgeball team. At number 21, we have the Denver Broncos with their orange eyed horse Miles, who's grinning like he has a foolproof plot to murder you in your sleep. Number 20. The New Orleans Saints with Sir Saint and his dog Gumbo. One of these mascots is way easier to look at than the other, and it's not the guy with the ball sack for a chin. If it wasn't for Saint Bernard Gumbo, this mascot would be placed way lower in our rankings. Next on our list is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, with Captain Fear coming in at number 19. 
Captain Fear, a ginger bearded pirate with a mustache so lush he can braid it. His smile is reminiscent of that thin awkward hello smile you give to random people you pass on the street. Captain Fear looks less scary and more just sad. You would be too if you were a pirate living in Florida. Number 18. The Pittsburgh Steelers with Steely McBean. The dude looks way too happy for someone that's carrying around a huge piece of metal. His Superman jaw makes his humanish face look less creepy than his NFL counterparts, but he still looks like he might bludgeon you to death with his steel beam. The Tennessee Titans come in at 17 with T-Rack. T-Rack is supposedly a caricature of a raccoon, the state animal of Tennessee, but we beg to differ. What's with the tongue? What's with the bulges on his face? Number 16. The San Francisco 49ers with Sourdough Sam. No, he wasn't named after the bread that every girl on Instagram has been posting about during COVID-19's lockdown. Sourdough Sam is a caricature of a 49er, a prospector who had hopes to strike it rich in the California gold rush. But his luck of finding gold is about as high as the 49ers' chances of ever winning another Super Bowl. At number 15, we have the Kansas City Chiefs with KC Wolf, looking like he came straight out of Chuck E. Cheese. His eyes move, which isn't cool, and his Hawaiian pants look like something your dad might wear during his midlife crisis. We know he's a crowd pleaser, but did we mention his eyes move? At number 14, we have the Carolina Panthers with Sir Purr. A panther or a domesticated kitten? You tell us. He's cute, we'll give him that, but cats are unpredictable. One moment they're purring, the next they're shredding your skin with their death claws. If someone ever tells you they're a cat person, run. Number 13, the Chicago Bears with Staley the Bear. Although he is just your average bear, he looks like he constantly wants to tell you off, but it's kind of endearing. He looks like he's seen one too many things, on and off the field. The Atlanta Falcons come in next at 12 with Freddie Falcon. Are those feathers or does he have leaves growing out of him? We're unsure. Freddy Falcon is higher on our list because he just looks like an all-around good bird. He looks pleased to be there, which is respectable. The Falcons got their name because the Falcon is proud and dignified with great courage and fight, which is not how we would describe any of the players. Just kidding. At number 11, we have the Baltimore Ravens with Poe. Named after the famed poet Edgar Allan Poe, this mascot who looks like an extra from Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds isn't too bad to look at. His beak is a little oversized, but the black and purple make him really stand out. Number 10, the Jacksonville Jaguars with Jackson DeVille. This yellow and teal spotted kitty cat is a thick boy. Jackson DeVille is the only mascot to behave so badly that the league created rules to keep his behavior in check. We'll point you to the Ebola towel incident. Despite his rebellious streak, this Jaguar is pretty cool looking, especially with his sunglasses. At number 9, we have the Cincinnati Bengals with Hooday. Hooday looks like your everyday cuddly tiger plushie, and he probably would be higher on the list if he didn't give us Joe Exotic flashbacks. He looks like a fun guy, so we're sorry the tiger reputation has been tarnished, but if he could let us know if he ate Carol Baskin's husband, that would be great. Number 8 gives us the Detroit Lions with Rory. Come on, he wins on that name alone. Rory is a lion costume mascot with a great mane that is probably the most kid-friendly, but he also looks like he could beat you up if you ran into him in an alley. The perfect combo. The Los Angeles Rams come in at number 7 with Rampage. For an animal, they did pretty well with the costume. Apart from the hands, he looks like a ram. Good for him. At number 6, we have the Arizona Cardinals with Big Red. With his standout red costume and his beak that's curled into a believable smile, we rate him highly, but we would rate him higher if he didn't look constantly surprised. At number 5, we have the Seattle Seahawks with Blitz. Blitz is a favorite of the people. His color combo featuring neon green is pretty dope. He just looks a little too smug. Next, at number 4, we have the Philadelphia Eagles with Swoop. They did pretty well with this bald eagle costume, but he looks like he's watched too much Dexter, if you know what we mean. Number 3. The Cleveland Browns with Chomps. He looks like too much of a good boy to have such a ferocious name like Chomps. He's high on our list because his dog costume is great, and pups like Chomps are adorable. 
Number two is the Houston Texans with Toro, a dark blue bull. We're sure you've realized by now how hard it is for costume designers to make mascots look anything other than creepy. So Toro places highly because he looks like your average bull that's just stoked he has a job, especially in this economy. Coming in at the coveted rank of number one is Billy Buffalo from the Buffalo Bills. Just look at him. He looks super cuddly and his facial expression is just the right touch of neutral that he looks almost sad, like he's in need of a hug. He looks like a little brother, a fuzzy blue little bro that you just want to teach how to throw. We hope you enjoyed our rankings of all 32 NFL team mascots. If you did, press our subscribe button. If you didn't, press it anyway.